Well, hey, we're Trey and Melody Lover, and we're the host of Undone Redone, the podcast where we're not afraid to look around through the lens of messy. And we're very qualified to talk about messy. Trey and I were married for 11 years and divorced for six years and have been remarried for five years. And we love to bring people on the show that can talk about their own Undone Redone message. So look for us on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. We'd love to have you tune in. Also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Undone Redone. Tune in, the show where we talk about the messiness of life. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday evening, the 9th of September. A few widely spaced showers out today, but not very many. Let's go to some of the Skycam shots around the network. We'll start with the Skycam coming from Jacksonville State University in Calhoun County. Looks like a small shower there is off in the distance. There's the Haleyville Skycam up in Winston County. Got some uh, showers just north of that location at midday, but they're dry. And the Alabama Gulf Coast looking pretty good. That's the view coming from the Phoenix All Suites, where uh, they've enjoyed a pretty decent amount of sun today. If you're beach bound for the week, about seven to nine hours of sun each day with a few widely scattered showers and storms. Big old upper high sitting across the southeast United States, and underneath that, a little bit of convection. But whenever we say widely spaced showers, that's what we mean. That's what the radar looked like at 207. At that point, some of the better rain was up in DeKalb County. Uh, kind of in between uh, Sand Mountain and Lookout Mountain in the valley there. And uh, those are just drifting south, and those fade away once the sun goes down. Upper 80s and low 90s in mid-afternoon, Birmingham 89. That's about average, maybe a degree or two above average for the 9th of September. I think we'll, uh, 87 is our average high. Around the nation, uh, the really hot airs north of here, uh, Des Moines, Iowa, hitting 100 today. The latest they've recorded that in the season, but nice and cool down in the Rockies and up in the northeast United States, even colder in the northeast. They'll be uh, downright cold to start the weekend up there. On the watch warning map, uh, some flash flooding issues in pockets out west, including parts of the deserts where it typically doesn't rain a lot. Looks like a flash flood warning around Phoenix where they've got deep tropical moisture in place. Severe weather possibilities, a slight risk today way up north and tomorrow, a slight risk over upstate New York and parts of New England. And you can clearly see where the storm track's located up on the Canadian border. Here's the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Saturday morning at 7 o'clock. Not a lot. Shows a little bit in here, and uh, that's with any isolated showers that might fire uh, in coming days. But again, widespread rain, just not on the table. Tropical weather trying to heat up a little bit. Obviously, Umberto's the big player out in the East Atlantic, but we've got the remnants of Gabrielle uh, located uh, north of Puerto Rico. Moving northeast, some chance it might try and get its act together again, but that will not affect the United States. There's a look at Umberto. Top winds, 45 miles an hour, moving west at 12. But this will be forced north, and then it's going to hang a left because of a blocking high. And the blocking high breaks down, it moves north again. All of this taking place way, way east of the United States. There's the official track from the Hurricane Center. Uh, they project this thing to be a hurricane by late tomorrow night. It's going to be a close call to see if this will be the latest first hurricane on record. Almost a dead tie. We'll see how it all shakes out. But again, that's obviously way out there and no issues here. Let's check the GF. And by the way, we should point out we might see some uh, action down in the Gulf of Mexico. But again, I don't think it'll be a problem here. Let's take a look at the GFS. We'll walk your way through this. This is the 12Z run valid at one o'clock local time tomorrow afternoon at 500 millibars. Upper high a little north of here and down below that. The day looks relatively dry. And again, you know, the chance of rain is not zero. But if showers do pop up, they'll be very widely spaced. There's the high res NAM. This is valid at four o'clock tomorrow afternoon, showing basically nothing. Uh, a few storms over in Mississippi. And again, there could be one here, but probably not many. Same thing Wednesday. Highs 88 to 91, much like today. Here's Thursday. Looks like a cold front north of us, uh, but uh, for the most part, Thursday should be dry. Highs at or, or near 90. We'll just leave it at that. And then Friday, look at that cool, refreshing air mass. Ooh, Yes. Dropping down into the Great Lakes. Look at the strong north wind kicking in over the northeast United States. It's going to feel like winter time up there. Uh, but again, around here Friday with that front, just it might kick off a shower somewhere, but they'll be widely spaced. And then Saturday as we kick off the weekend, big trough over the east coast. Troughing out of the Rockies, upper high around Shreveport. 
And down below that, we should be in a drier air mass with temperatures dropping into the mid-80s. And again, I wouldn't be shocked if we had highs in the low 80s because look at this air coming down the pipe. And again, in terms of rain, Saturday looks mostly dry with a dry air mass. But look at the numbers here. This is Sunday morning lows. This is valid Sunday morning, 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern. I'm seeing 20s in parts of New York. And and temperatures below freezing way down into Pennsylvania. Uh, Washington, D.C. and Baltimore could see lows in the 30s. And of course, all that stays, you know, north of us. We might see a few pockets in northeast Alabama in the 50s, but still, uh, that's a sign of the times. And then during the day Sunday, the core of that cool air mass is near Chesapeake Bay, and the moisture begins to flow in from the east and the south. And there could be a few scattered showers on Sunday. And that would be a pretty cool day with that high nosing in here. Uh, highs only maybe low 80s, and I could see maybe Fort Payne or Gadsden or Collinsville holding in the upper 70s all day. And then Monday... Uh, Again, the chance of a few showers. Got a cold front coming in from the northwest, and again, that might enhance the chance of rain early next week. So by the weekend, temperatures come down, and rain chances could creep back up late this weekend or early next week. And we note down to the south, a uh, a tropical low is moving inland south of Brownsville, Texas. And uh, that should push a lot of moisture up into the Texas coastal plain. It could be very wet for places like Brownsville, Corpus Christi, even uh, Galveston, Houston. And uh, I wouldn't be shocked if that thing would be a tropical depression, maybe a tropical storm at the time of landfall. And with the cold front coming in, just maybe some of that moisture could advect in here, maybe setting up a big rain event by the middle of next week. That'd be up toward the uh, maybe 18th or 19th of September, just something to watch. Now we'll check the end of the forecast. This is September 25th. Yeah, the westerlies are dropping farther south. Again, nice troughing over the east and down below that. That looks uh, pretty quiet, uh, cool or dry with temperatures maybe near average for that time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening and God bless.